Hey guys, so um, in this screencast, what I'm going to show you is how to install additional um, uh, kind of dependency RPMs. Uh, so basically, the default installation of OpenShift will kind of omit some uh, some packages, and uh, one of the packages uh, I've been trying to provide usually uh, basically started with experiments. I created some RPMs for. Um, basically PHP 5.4 and uh, I think right now it's uh, approved for the next sprint on OpenShift uh, but uh, prior to that I mean there was no there was PHP 5.4 but then of course um, for people that wanted to set up applications like Laravel or applications that depended on the encrypt for instance framework or the Mongo um, or the um, kind of image magic package uh, we're not able to do that because I mean uh, it wasn't available in the official dependency um, uh, repo for OpenShift. Uh, so I went ahead and created some. Uh, at least I kind of rebuilt the RPMs and added support for mcrypt and the Peckle, uh, the PHP Peckle uh, edition of uh, the Image Magic framework. All right. So um, what I'm going to show you here is um, you know kind of a link that links to my site. I have this repo for OpenShift origin dependencies. Uh, uh, so this is only for the 64-bit uh, version of uh, you know kind of CentOS. And um, a, a word of warning here, um, contents of this might change at any time. Uh, this is because I did this for my lab sake and for kind of some custom implementation I've done for some clients. And uh, feel free to use it. And uh, I might not really know exactly what uh, uh, licensing stuff um, I might get into. Uh, the truth is because um, um, on this same repository, I have, um, you know, kind of, I kind of compiled a copy of JBoss um, AS7. And then I have the Tomcat six and seven, which I created RPMs for. Usually, you don't have this already on, on CentOS or Red or Red Hat release, except you're using the uh, I mean, of on CentOS, uh, except you're using the Red Hat Enterprise release, which they have um, an official uh, channel you subscribe to uh, for a repo a repo channel that you subscribe to and get the JBoss uh, RPMs. But for those of you using the uh, OpenShift Origin and uh, you're, you're building it on you know, kind of uh, centers and all that. Uh, feel free to use the repository, uh, at least until further notice. And uh, please, like I said, uh, contents might change. It's possible some RPMs might uh, leave, depending on um, you know, kind of if I hear any complaint about it, uh, kind of bridging any um, any any copyright or any um, licensing problems. All right, so um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, copy this, and we're going to create a repo for that. I'm going to my node. Uh, uh, the reason why I'm using it on my node is because I need to provide some uh, kind of RPMs, if you will, for some packages. All right, so um, I'm going to uh, use Nano. Feel free to use VI. All right, so we're going to call this uh, Mal uh, Repo, and uh, what I want to do here is just to call this uh, Mal uh, Repo, and the name uh, can be anything. So. Uh, that's what Mao means. For those of you that are curious, uh, it's my full name and uh, open shift. I'll just call this uh, repo. And the base URL, uh, of course, is going to point to you know our. Uh, it's going to point to our dependency path and the GPG uh, check. Uh, in this case, we're going to disable it. And of course, enable. Uh, we're going to set it to one. Uh, Anyway, if I omit that, it's going to be assumed it's enabled by default anyway, so um, that should be fine. And once I do that, I'm going to kind of issue the yum clean all uh, command. Uh, this will clean all the metadata for yum and allow me to initiate uh, kind of a yum install. And uh, what I want to do in this case is to install a couple of packages uh, that I'm missing already. Uh, like I told you, uh, the mcrypt package, the image magic package. I'm going to go ahead and throw in um, my copy of Mongo uh, platform, which is Mongo uh, 1.5 uh, version, and then of course the JBoss AS and the Tomcat 6 and 7. Uh, this will provide the um, JBoss EWS 1 and EWS 2 packages for Tomcat and the JBoss AS uh, package for you know for this. All right, so I'm going to copy uh, the package list here and to paste it and. Uh, I'm going to press enter. All right, so kind of retrieve the metal link for repository depot. Uh, 
all right so let's ensure that we have internet access which we don't so uh, the first line of uh, attack I uh, can see here of course is going to be uh, this so I'm going to provide a search criteria and this we're going to a local repo and uh, name server in this case is going to be uh, a couple of name servers that I have uh, basically open name servers and uh, right so just bear with me here and besides I want you to see this as well so that you can um, kind of determine uh, what can cause this and uh, for some reason I think I left uh, network manager on so chdp uh, network manager off uh. all right so anyway uh, this is what I'll do basically if I have a problem so I'm showing you that now uh, all right so network manage is not on all right i'm just going to go ahead and quickly check my network configuration here uh, network script and network control no and for some reason we're still getting something wrong with that all right so um, i'm just going to go ahead and restart network uh let's go ahead and restart fine I've seen this and screaming at me. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, you're right. All right, so my bad. I uh, just specified the right format. Uh, all right, so this this is um, this is great. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring my own um, installation again. And um, yeah, so just go ahead and resolve all the dependencies and uh, kind of uh, find all the packages on the my local um, repository that we added. And hopefully, this will go ahead and add all the missing dependencies for us. All right, so uh, you can see the dependencies. Uh, most of them, some of them coming from you know like uh, PHP 5.4 uh, PHP Devel, and you can see um, most of them coming from our Murphy repo. I can see the JBoss AS here. You can see um, you know um, the Peckle, um PHP Ma Image Magic and Mongo. You can see Tomcat six and seven uh, basically. So um, the rest are just dependencies uh, that are being installed for that. All right, so just go ahead and install 144 megabytes of our package. So this will run, and um, hopefully, depending on your internet speed, uh, this shouldn't take so much time to install the dependencies for the OpenShift um, Origin RPMs we're installing here. Okay, so um, ideally this is the part where you freak out or you panic uh, because of the um, package is not signed. Uh, now, um, you don't have to believe me, basically. Uh, I created this RPM, basically I rebuilt it. So uh, for some reason, I can trust myself, actually. Uh, but this is actually where you have to kind of look at the package you're installing and saying, hey, um, how do I trust this guy? How do I trust what he has done with the package? Right, you have all the right to think of that. but. Um, yeah, so basically it's throwing out this error at me and um, I have to kind of append something to that. Uh, basically, I just have to disable the uh, GPG check. Uh, one thing I want to also uh, check just to be sure in our uh, Yonder repos uh, my local is that, uh, yeah, this was the problem actually. My bad. So I don't have to type that as well. I can just, you know, kind of uh, omit that. Uh, so what, what I'm trying to do now here is to make sure that it doesn't check for the GPG um, um, sign in here. Um, basically, I trust it, right? So I should go ahead and install that. All right. So let's give this a moment to continue. All right. So uh, all right. 
so hopefully it cached our previous installation uh, yeah it did so you can see it's installing the packages here um, so if you're wondering how Yom did this uh, anytime Yom tries to download a package caches it um, at least temporarily until you discard the whole um, to flush out the cache itself uh, so it actually downloaded everything uh, but we had trouble installing the package because it wasn't signed and uh, because I, I misspelled the GPG check, uh, I'm sure some of you saw that and uh, I've been hitting your screen since saying, hey, Morphe, you can check what you're doing, you know. Uh, but sometimes you just, you just know that it's uh, kind of a little bit harder to type and talk at the same time, especially if you have to say some things uh, um, related to whatever you're doing um, at the moment. All right, so forgive me for doing that, guys. All right, so um, here you can see uh, we're installing Tomcat 6 and 7. Uh, we're installing the mpre package and we're installing the Peckle Mongo um, package as well. This is for you know uh, Mongo 1.5 uh, and of course the you know Image Magic for graphics manipulation and all that. All right, so um, now also um, if you're thinking of uh, adding another node later onto your installation, uh, please just make sure that they have the same set of. Uh, uh, kind of um, packages and cartridges um, so for instance you can have a node let's say you have a node and you want the node to just have a few packages uh, well I think the broker will have problems with that so we want to make sure you have the same number of, um, uh, of packages and uh, in the next screencast um, um, you know in subsequent screencast anyway I'm going to show you uh, because I'm running a VM uh, so it's more convenient for me to clone this um, node and um, tweak it and make it look like another node and the reason why I'm going to do that is because I want to show you how to serve up uh, two different profiles uh, for for that. And um, also, in addition to that, um, I'm going to go ahead and install some some cartridges. Uh, that's the reason why I install all these uh, dependencies, actually, uh, like Tomcat and the JBoss AS um, package. I'm going to go ahead and install their their their, their cartridges. Right. So um, if you're wondering, I can do a yum search on OpenShift Origin. Cartridge, so if I can type All right, so this should check the this should check the repository and search for all the open shift cartridges. And in this case, um, uh, because we've pointed it to our custom um, cartridge, it's going to go ahead and uh, pull uh, the ones we have on uh, the mal uh, dependency report. Or in the package, um, in the optional report actually. All right, so um, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and install, um, you know, the optional repo. So these are dependencies for AS server. These are recommended dependencies as well. Um, of course, you can go ahead and install all. Uh, so this is going to be all these are dependency packages for OpenShift cartridges. So uh, we need to go ahead and install that. I'm um, using the dash y flag here and in addition to that I want to go ahead and install the JBoss AS cartridge and the EWS cartridge as well and of course um, I have the MarioDB cartridge so uh, I haven't tried this yet but I just compiled it and make sure you see how, how it's done right so hopefully this will go ahead and find all the missing dependencies if it doesn't then of course you know um, you know, you see what we did here. Okay, so um, as expected, sort of, uh, you can see we've hit some bottlenecks here, basically on uh, the optional um, uh, dependencies. So what what um, what I'm going to do here uh, at the moment is to kind of uh, remove the MariaDB cartridge and to remove the optional cartridge as well so um, and hopefully we're gonna find the uh, uh, just a moment I just want to bring up the search so I think it's been complaining about the you know, optional packages and uh, we might go ahead and check out the recommended packages so just will go ahead and check 
all right so recommended all uh, let's see if this will cut it and I'm going to remove the MariaDB cartridge and I'm going to remove the optional dependencies uh, all right so I'm to swap it with the all dependencies um, Hopefully if this fails, then we're going to um, you know, have this card the, and just allow the JBoss AS and the JBoss EWS cartridges. Uh, anyway, that's the main objective of the uh, additional repos. Alright, All right. so um, you can see the recommended um, install picks. Um, pick the necessary tools, so it's going to go ahead and install all these packages. and. We're also going to go ahead and install uh, the that is the you can see the JBoss AS7 module and the OpenJDK 1.6 and 1.7 and of course it's going to go ahead and install all the cartridges for JBoss AS and JBoss EWS as well. All right, so uh, once this is complete and uh, it shouldn't take so much time actually, depending on the you know your internet connection and the speed of your machine, all right. Okay, so that's downloaded all the packages. It's installing all the OpenJDK requirements for the JBoss um, Java cartridges. Uh, has Maven 3. Uh, you can see Python um, utilities here. You can see the Ruby development packages. Okay, so um, yeah, it's installing quite a lot of um, packages here. Right, install the JBoss cartridges and verify them. And uh, one one more thing I want to check uh, is the um, Image Magic package. Uh, just want to make sure that the Image Magic develop is also installed. So um, let's go ahead and install yum install uh, Image Magic develop. Right. Uh, the reason why I'm so installing this is for image manipulation purposes, and of course, if you are using uh, Ruby, or uh, um, uh, Ruby tries to compile some gems, and the gems will require the images for uh, the image package, development package for uh, installation. Right? So yes, so this will install the development package for Image Magic. Also, uh, feel free to install uh, an NTP um, server. Uh, that's the recommended way. Uh, that way, you can keep uh, all the time on your machine uh, in sync right so we're just gonna go and wait for this to install and then um, we we round up the this this, this screen cast or maybe um we will do one more thing here uh, we'll set up on the NTP server this will be on both machines uh, so that our times our time will be synchronized um, as needed actually so um, okay so it's almost done anyway what we can do is I can go to the broken node package and install an NTP, um, NTP service Here as well. All right, so already have it installed. All right, good. So while this is doing, um, let's go ahead and edit um, the Etsy NTP uh, .com file. And here, where we have the server, um, we're going to take off all the servers and type. Uh, Centers um, server, uh, and against any time, against uh, any server you like. This is just me trying to make it consistent. So, so this is the 
time servers uh, one to three actually um, so basically I can actually pick one of the servers here and uh, before starting the NTP service I'm going to use the NTP of uh, NTP uh, yeah, NTP date command and I'm going to specify this so this will go ahead and synchronize it uh, all right so service NTP the uh, stop and I'm going to synchronize the time and start the service backup. Okay. Config NTP on and service NTP start. All right. So, um, yep, we have the same thing here. So what I'll do is I'll just copy um, the server definition we have here and I'll just paste it in our scntp.com file uh, right and uh, then issue the ntp date command and make sure the NTPD or services off. So stop PD one and as soon as this updates, you can go ahead and start a backup. Right. So um, hopefully this this took a while, but I just wanted to show you everything. Um, I did to install additional RPMs, the ones I built, the ones coming from the dependency repos, and how to install the uh, JBoss and the um, JBoss AS and EWS um, RPMs, as well as additional PHP uh, modules. Uh, so, um, if you have any comments, suggestions, please drop them in the comments uh, below. And um, yeah, I'll be glad to check it out. And if there's anything I can help with, uh, I'll be glad to. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one and see you in the next week. Uh, thanks a lot.